Hey guys, we're back. Uh, happy uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, welcome to 2012. And um, here's to the end of the world, I guess. Only uh, preventable by Agent Thornton, usually undercover. You know what? You know what? You know what? New Year's mean new faces. Let's go find something terrible to put on. There we are. Hat. What's a terrible hat? Can I spin him? I can't spin him. Yeah, that'll work. I wear. Wow, no wonder half this stuff is terrible. All right, these are these are pretty bad. Uh, no, 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 no beard. Yeah, we're gonna stay with the lumberjack. Yeah. All these terrible facial options. Because why not? Yay! Oh, hey, Hongshur's uh, ceremonial sword. I sure hope Nazri likes waterboarding. Me too, Mike. Me too. Do we need to talk to anybody? Email. Nope. Do we need to buy anything? Anyone? Oh, God! Yes, we do. Yeah, we're saving up. Okay. Saving up is good. Well, um... Guess that means there's only one more thing to do. Which is to go on the mission. Intercept intelligence. Let's go identify Jabril Albara. This sounds like a fun thing to do. Place. Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Okay. Sounds like we're here. Uh, it, it. The more you zoom in, the less wacky Roman the, uh... Artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. As it moves comparatively slowly and out here, you go, wee -woo. Uh, you. This is gonna be a fairly dull mission, we're mostly just scanning everybody. Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Let's see, that's the guards. And this mission can be a bit tricky. It makes you scan everybody before it lets you move on. A nobody. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. In position. All right, let's begin. Why don't you walk away from me? 
you actually you can't move in this mission uh, all you have is the scope and apparently since I started scanning this idiot won't let me scan anyone else Dutch flower baron he's suspected of dipping into the drug trade but that's all I've got nothing really incriminating Ooh, ooh, ooh. Calm down, sniper rifle. Security guard. He's clean. One, two. You need to be scanned. You are well be assimilated. Private security. Ex special forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No. I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. Okay, you, you, you need to be scanned. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. There's a guy up here. A Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very... Careful, I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. I wish to scan you, sir. Oh, please, stop. Sniper rifle, please don't be so finicky. He's a curator for one of the museums in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean. Do you do anyone on the... Oh, I see you. And gotcha. He's a cop in Rome. Must be moonlighting as a bodyguard for one of these guys. And got you. These two need to be scanned. Reasons I don't like these sniper rifles. They're so finicky. Uh, an American novelist. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Is it any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. Yeah, I'm barely moving the mouse. And this sniper rifle, as you can see, is just swiveling. There you are. Immigrated to France from the West Bank about ten years ago and serves on the board of directors for the Christian Islamic Confederation. <laughs> He's practically a saint. Keep looking. Okay. We're nearly through here. There's a couple more people we want to scan. I think this is our guy up here. That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... Mean, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from, or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out, or we can abort. It's up to you. Now me... I'm a fan of since we don't know anything, we're going to abort. I'm aborting the mission. Alright, Mike. And I know it's not as exciting as, you know shooting him and causing a ruckus, but if you want to do that, you can do it in your game. Essentially, that's just a talkie mission. What's that beeping noise? Is that the 
phone or is that the in-game computer? Well, if it was the phone, they'll call back. Hey, Scarlet sent us our paycheck. Mina! Ah! Now we can have her research one of the agents um, that was with us in, um, in Saudi, since uh, they were the only three people who could have turned on us. I'm going to research Westridge. Because, well, Mike says it pretty well. Pretty obvious first suspect. Hey, AP! Excellent! Hey! We've got a uh, lunch invitation from Jabril. We're going to go have lunch with them because, quite frankly, I can't remember the last time we had a bite to eat in this game. And I'm pretty sure Lumberjack Thornton here is um, getting pretty hungry. Is there any intel I need to buy? That'd be a good thing to check, I guess. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's uh, go do lunch. Since uh, last mission was kind of short. sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. I've never been stood up in my life. Someone has a high opinion of themselves. I'm just stating the facts. <coughs> Sorry, that's... Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Transmitter's off. I don't plan on reaching for my gun unless you make it necessary. Once I have the information I need, I plan to leave. You will not be harmed. You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? I'm here to find out what Halbeck is doing in Rome and their ties to Al Samad. And what led you to believe that Halbeck has any interests in Rome or Al Samad? Are you denying that either one is true? I do not believe you would have come here without evidence. What makes you think that? You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. Straight out of Langley. Perhaps they felt the untouchables approach would benefit them. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country, and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Considering how 
public your actions have been in Rome, and how many CIA agents you killed, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I've found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. So am I. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, and that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and I encourage you to set them aside. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. You don't seem like the corporate stooge type. In fact, you seem like someone who doesn't take orders at all, especially from someone like Leyland. Are you questioning my loyalty? I am, but not in the way you think. I've read your dossier. From where I'm standing, it doesn't seem like Halbeck's any better than the governments that you've served with. In fact, they're like a government unto themselves, and if you think for a second that they give a rat's ass about their employees, then you're twice the fool. Do you seriously think they wouldn't leave you out to dry if they had to? Your attention to detail and history borders on obsessive. <laughs> you may live through this after all. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Okay, unfortunately, um, those two CIA agents we accidentally shot are coming back to haunt us. Um, it's going to make a couple of people predisposed to dislike us, case in point, Marburg. But uh, we did really well with him. Um, I'm not sure whether we can make that pay off, but... You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. After that debacle at the CIA listening post. One guard. Finding you was easy. I could say the same. I didn't expect a face-to-face -face meeting. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he could do a killer impression of you. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which... 
This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? I want to know why she's looking for me. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? Operative, actually. I'm sorry? Never mind. Miss St. James, you were trying to reach a Michael Thornton. You're talking to him. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I already am, but go ahead. I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. Okay. Lots of talking this episode. We're going to do a quick level up. And then we're going to... Cut the episode... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ha, 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 ha. So apparently, after we do a punch, we can now fire a weapon. Aside from doing flying click, fly, flying kicks, and all manner of other chicanery. We are all now so completely maxed on martial arts, aside from the final two levels, which will come later. So, we're going to cut this episode here, and we will be back next time with a significantly more action-packed episode.